I was born after 1962. I think United States stamp went from 4 cents to 5 cents. I love playing uh, ping pong. I used to practice 4 hours a day when I was a kid, so I'm quite, quite competitive. I think the scariest was for about 2 minutes, first 2 minutes, when I was playing for Yasha Heifetz. I think I would go with Bach and Mozart. Requiem by Mozart. I hate cooking so much that, for example, I put stuff in the microwave for 3 minutes and I will cut it short after 1 minute. I, was in, I would be impatient to wait all 3 minutes. I would want to try my hand at producing. I like the idea of developing young talent and seeing their vision and just make it come to fruition. I like this idea of producing, sound producing, everything, records. I'm reading this book about Peter Grant, who is a famous manager of Led Zeppelin. It was a really fascinating story how he developed this whole concept of, at that time, hard rock, now it's called classic rock, and how he made this band to be like on top of the world. It's very fascinating. This man is a genius. Um, Bruce Lee, very, very, very much, but I don't text when I drive, it's very dangerous. Well, when I was very, very young, I think I wanted to be a fireman, but eventually, I, when I was like five, I already had my eye on being a concert violinist. Oh, <laughs> uh, like, I don't know, every ten minutes. <laughs> when I was giving free piano lessons, in Russia, at the music school of Tchaikovsky, you know, the Central Music School, you know, I should have taken more seriously, developed more skill in piano, and also voice lessons. So those two things I regret when I was a kid. Leonardo da Vinci, Mozart, and Led Zeppelin, <laughs> and my dad, of course. M my strongest angle is m my sense of kind of a vision in what I want to achieve and perseverance to make it happen. I think somebody mentioned that, the, you know, the, the rumor that I, I sleep in the refrigerator and to keep myself warm I use a blanket or something like that in order to preserve, like, staying young forever or something, some, some crazy stuff like that. New York style pizza with cold Coca-Cola. <laughs> I think it was the Paganini Concerto when I was like 12 years old. My father was just immigrating to Vienna, and my father gave me first violin concerto by Paganini. I like Fritz Kreisler's Beethoven Concerto, and I like my father's recording of some of the pieces like Gershwin, Porgen Bess, Rhapsody he arranged. That's fantastic. Yes, there were there were some concerts. One particular one I really at the time wish I'd never done, but. Having said that, it, it, I learned such a big lesson from that mistake that in the long run it served me so much good. I think classical mu music will always exist, just like Shakespeare or any other form of culture. There's no question, in my opinion. But of course it's in our hands to popularize it as much as we can. So I think the future is positive, but we have to really keep the finger on the pulse, making sure that like the next generations of young players would get inspired into classical music and you know they want to you know get involved because the future is in their hands so we just have to keep pushing it